In this video, we're going to talk about how to use icons in the jQuery UI library. And the icons in the jQuery UI can basically be used against any of the widgets that have icons. And since the accordion has icons, this is a good place to introduce this subject. Now you'll notice the default icons are these arrows. We have this down arrow for the tab that's currently opened, and we have this side arrow for the ones that are closed. Those are the default icons. But we can go ahead and change those. And all you have to do is put the name of the icon that you want to specify down in these two properties. And we'll talk about this in a moment. And where do you get the name of these icons? Well, the jQuery UI website itself provides all the names and you can see them right here. Now I will provide you the link to this web page and you can see some of the names here. So I'm going to be using some of these names in this lecture, at least some of my favorite ones. Now to use icons from the jQuery UI library, we need to first use the icons property. And actually, we don't really need that space there. Okay. Now, the icons property takes two properties itself, the header property and the active header property. Now, the header property equates to these closed panels. It probably should have said something like closed header, but that's what that equates to. The active header equates to the panel that's open. So let's go ahead and place in some new icons. And like I said, I'm just going to use some of the names from that web page we were just at. So let's go ahead and I'll put a value in here. And the first one we're going to use are the plus and minus icons. So we're going to specify UI hyphen icon hyphen plus. And we can just go ahead and copy and paste this down here. And we'll put in the minus for the active header. So let's go ahead and hit save. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, we've got the minus icon now for the section that's open. And we've got the plus for the tabs that are closed. Now you can arrange these the way you want. For these, I like to have the plus icon for the sections that are closed because this tells the user, hey, if you want to open this, hit this plus icon. Now another icon set I like are the zoom in and zoom out icons. So we just put in zoom in here and then we put in zoom out. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And there you can see what the icons look like. And once again, you can arrange these the way you want to. Another nice one is the mail closed and the mail open. And I think we need another hyphen for that. Mail closed, I believe. Yes. And then there's also the mail open. And let's take a look and see what this looks like. And there you can see what the icons look like for the mail closed and mail open. And then the final one that I like are the folder collapsed and folder open. And so let's take a look and see what these look like. And there you can see these are quite nice as well. So you can go ahead and play around with these and take a look at that link that I provided in the description of the video and put some other icons in here and see which ones you like and want to use for your web page. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you.